Hi, my name is Winuri Kahio. I'm a filmmaker from Nairobi, Kenya, and I am an Afro bubblegumist. Afro bubblegum is creating fun, fierce, and frivolous African art, whether it's um, pop music or art or film or anything or photography. It's just the recognition that African art can be more than agenda driven art, more than policy driven art. It can just be fun, fierce, and frivolous. So, of course, growing up, I watched cartoons like anybody else uh, around the world. We watched things like Kimba the White Lion, or uh, Thundercats, or Transformers, or um, My Little Pony, Care Bears. We watched all of it. And whenever we watched it, it was just so exciting to be part of an adventure with bears and, and mythical characters and go to different places where you can laugh and dance and have friends and just be in joy, really. But what I noticed and what I continue to notice is a lot of that work does not necessarily come from where I am. It doesn't come from the people that I know. It doesn't sound like the people that I know. It doesn't represent the, 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 the places that I see, the world that I live in. And it's, it's, it's disheartening to have heroes who are nothing like you. And it's even more so when you're a mother of two and your children watch cartoons or watch animation that sometimes looks like them but to most of them, most of the time doesn't look like them or sound like them or is not from where they are. And it, it has the effect of making a person feel invisible. And also, more so, it has the effect of misrepresenting joy. It feels like the joy that I know in my own life is not represented in the in the things that I love to see, in the places that I, I want to enjoy or collaborate or share a space with other creatives or with other audiences. So we are quite dedicated to creating fun, frivolous and fierce art because we not only can we put representations of ourselves on screen, but more so we can have like a ridiculous view of Africa that we, never, we had never seen before. Because so often, as you know, Africa is always depicted as a, a place of devastation or war or disease or a place where people have to overcome hardship and they have to overcome problems and are always um, trying, striving for survival. But there's so much more to Africa than that. There's so much more life and myths and love and laughter and jokes. There's an incredible sense of humor, an incredible sense of well-being, an incredible sense of just wholeness also on the continent. And these are the things that we, we seek to, to, to create. Because it's important that we see ourselves as happy so that we can claim happiness. It's important that we we write and speak happiness so that we can create happiness, so that we know that we're worthy of it, so that we know that we are destined to be people who can also live in the pursuit of happiness, and so that we can create cultures of joy. And not only on the African continent, where it would be extraordinary to have something like a My Little Pony with like Maasai Bling, or like Thundercats with an elephant roar, or um, just things that are authentic to the places that we are, but also so that we're joining others in celebrating not their destruction, and not celebrating only their resilience, but celebrating the abundance of spirit, the abundance of joy, and the ability to rise up in laughter, and rise up with, with, a, with a wealth of lightness, because that's what we strive to, to be as human beings. We strive to be happy, we strive to be, um, at peace and we strive to be worthy of joy and if that's what we strive to be then that's what we should be representing of ourselves um, because because we're worth it <laughs> because we're worth joy because we're worth uh, being joyful so I challenge people 
even when we live in a day and age where joy is, is, is hard. It's hard to claim, it's hard to, to come by, and, and fighting for joy and happiness is a fight. It's, it's, it's a, it, it, it needs a, a resilience of strength, um, and it needs to be something that you actively look for in every day, because we've become a culture of complaining, or of 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 um, just not all we can be, and I truly hope that the characters that we create, uh, not only are we enjoying creating them, not only are we creating these worlds that we would love to be in, that we can see ourselves in, but also characters that give us a sense of who we are, of each other are, so that you know. Africa because of its joy and its happiness and its and its jokes and its people and its and its like craziness right and we know other parts of the world because of that and also for people of color and people in developing worlds and people who so much has been heaped upon them and so much continues to be heaped upon them about only talking about the the struggle let the struggle be joy let the struggle be uh, an abundance of spirit. So I challenge you to write happy worlds. I look forward to creating happy worlds for you and hopefully we can rise up in joy and in celebration and so that you from me I truly wish you a fun, fierce and frivolous creative process. Thank you so much.